Right, you ready? So this is the second thing. We're talking about gradient, and we're going to create some equations now. So from GCSE, if you wanted the length of this arc here, it's part of the circumference. So it's part of a two pi r. And what you did, you said, all right, the angle theta divided by 360. That would give me the arc length. So this bit here is the arc length. So I knew what the circumference was, and if it was half a circle, then I, I kind of did it by half, but really what I was doing was 180 degrees divided by 360. So, let's have a think about if it's in radians then. Because if it's in radians, 360 is 2 pi, so really it's theta over 2 pi times by 2 pi r. And if you look, the 2 pi's will cancel, I get theta times by r for my arc length. We tend to write it though as r times by theta, so I'll just put that in the box down there. So that's your arc length. Right, so let's think about the area of a circle. So the area of a circle is pi r squared. But if you only wanted a sector, I'd find that proportion of it, so theta over 360. So that's working in degrees. If I change the 360 into 2 pi, I've got theta over 2 pi times pi r squared. The pi's will cancel. Oops. And I get theta r squared over 2. Now what we tend to write it as is a half r squared theta there. And theta has to be in radians, because I've used the two pi for it. So I've got the arc length is r theta. It's going to say L for the arc length, and my area is half r squared theta. Yeah. Right, so what we've got. So in example one, it says they'll find the length of the minor arc. So minor is the smaller one. So I've got L there, and the area. So I'm going to use for the length, I'm going to use L equals R theta. So L is R, so it's 9 times by pi over 6. And that will give me roughly 4.71 centimetres. So the area of that minor bit, the smaller bit, is a half R squared theta. So the area is a half times by 9 squared times by pi by 6. And that roughly gives me an area of 21.2 centimetres squared. Now there's a question for you. I'll have a go at the question for you. So he wants the major arc. So he wants the longer one this time. So if that's pi by 5, that's going to be 2 pi, take away pi by 5. So you can work that out. There we go. The 2 pi take away pi by 5. If you do 5 take a fifth, you get 1 and 4 fifths. That's 9 over 5, isn't it? 9 over 5 pi. So that's what value you'd use there because we. Can work it out. There we go. Let's have a look at the next page. Oh, drop me for get back. Still not sure about you. Know. Right, let's have a look at this next one then. So it says part of the field is fenced off for a crowd at a pop concert. The shape of the sector has a radius of 400 meters. So 400 meters there. Uh, it's got an angle of two radians, so two there, if you can see it. So the length of the fencing, so if you think about it, the fencing will be, it will be a two here, and it'll be, I don't know, it'll be a two there, and 400 there, and it'll be a 400 there, and a 400 there. And then I need that bit as well, which would be 400, because that's the arc length times by two, and equals r theta. So what I'm really doing is getting the perimeter. I'm 
got a formula for that. So it's two lots of a radius and an arc length. So my perimeter will be two times four hundred plus four hundred times two. There you go. Uh, what's that going to get me then? About 1,600 metres, I think. There. Then it says the maximum crowd density can't exceed one person per two. It doesn't really tell us anything there, does it? Oh, look, I just want the maximum crowd density. Right, so I need the area first, which is a half r squared theta. So that's a half times 400 squared times two. So that's 16 with four zeros, 160,000 meters, oops, meters squared. We stop working there, we don't know. Um, so the density is, hang on. Uh, hang on, I've done this wrong way around. I can do that. So my density is the area over the number of people. Oh, so if I switch that over, the number of people will be the 160,000 divided by. Uh, Two. So that number of the maximum crowd will be 80,000. Kind of made sense in my head, but when I was trying to just do it then, it just all fell apart. I think it's just because I'm tired. So we kind of got the idea that the density of it would be how many people you got crammed into that space. So I could fit, I have like a two meter space around everybody. Oh, but if everybody takes up two meters, square meters, then I can only fit in 80,000 people. Why didn't I just say it like that? That's far more obvious than how I was doing it. So it's, uh, to explain why your answer to part two is unlikely to ensure that the density doesn't exceed one person. But if you look at the picture, everybody crams to the front. So that's why. So just make sure you're okay with the idea that if one person takes up two meters squared, then I've got 160,000 meters squared. It's actually space for 80,000 people. Why I didn't, I started thinking about density as mass over volume. Then I'm like, oh my God, where's that coming from? Um, tell them time. That's what it is. Right. I'm going to stop it here and we'll do another video.